What's up, YouTube? This is Trainer Connor, and it's time for a Wi Fi battle video. Enjoy. Okay, so today's video is uploaded. It is a very interesting match, I just gotta say. It's against Cloud, one of my tour followers. Now, in this fight, I'm actually going to be trying out Mega Gyarados. My opponent using some very unconventional Pokemon. We'll see how we do. If you enjoyed this upload, be sure to hit that like button and subscribe to see some more Wi-Fi battles in the future. I begin with my Fortress. I was wary of the Tonk or Stealth Ox coming from that shiny Cuckoo Gal right there. He goes for Tonk, probably expecting my Fortress to go with my own entry hazards. Not the case here as I switch out and go into my Mega Gyarados now and hopefully we can get a flinch off or two. Turns out that I cannot because he bypasses it and goes with Stealth Ox. That makes my fortress a little bit more important for this fight, if I can ever use it properly in this battle, because rabbit spinning those entry hazards away is going to be very crucial. Just in case if you wanted to switch out to avoid a water type move, I decided to go with Ice Fang. I get a critical hit, I don't know if that mattered or not. We're able to take out Kruko Gal, that's what's important. I was hoping I would take this Focus Blast better than I do, but this is my defensive, physically defensive Fortress. And it just does not take special moves that very well right there. And that means I lost Fortress, and that also means that I am not going to be rapid spinning my entry hazards away there. That is just unfortunate because my team does not appreciate those self loss and more to come later in the spell. So he decides to switch out, which I was hoping for. I get a, a, a free KO off that Zaku right there. I didn't know if it was a defensive build or whatever. I think that thing is just too frail to take a sheer force boost and flare blitz to the face. I decided to switch out from Area Ghost because Area Ghost can be sashed. I didn't want him to just survive a flare blitz and I would die to recoil damage. So we go into my Tumboya, which is my Assault Vest Rhyperior. He sets up more entry hazards, like I mentioned. More to come later, and this is what happens. Toxic Spikes and Sticky Web. Whereas my Fortress, it's dead, so I cannot rapid spin those away. He's going to be doing some major work with that. No. My opponent is going to be doing some major work with those entry hazards. Because now we have an issue with this Glaceon. Glaceon can be scarfed. It can just be a weird set. I don't know, but it's just, it's bulky and as powerful as it is. We go with Thunder Wave with Beatrice, the Lachios. Just because I know Sticky Web is up, if I did not paralyze it, he would be faster. But since I paralyzed it, I will be faster, even even with the sticky web being active. So my speed lowers, as you can see right there. I'm still faster. There you go. I was hoping I would KO this Glaceon, but like I said, Glaceon is just too bulky. It can take a critical hit waterfall from a Mega Gyarados. That kind of just an unfortunate event right there because now he can just bring in something to revenge kill and that would be his Acelgore. His Acelgore could come in, go with another Bug Buzz, and just KO me. So that's just the end of my Mega Gyarados. He did do some work in this match. I'm not going to complain about that. It's nice that he has Life Orb. That means that he's not Scarfed or anything like that. 
and the cake special hits a lot better. I should have done this initially. I should have gone into Catherine, my Sylveon. He goes with another Bud Buzz, and you see just how awesome my Catherine is. Granted, it is a non-super effective move. So, I mean, yeah, I would definitely take that hit, but... My special effects lowers after that attack that he landed off. And I don't really care about that because I can switch out, but I didn't want to switch out because I wanted to go for a toxic on that fur fro. But this fur fro is actually a offensive fur fro. I did not see that coming for whatever reason. I I don't think it's common. But it's working out right here. All those entry hazards are going to come into play right here because now Furfo is going to just revenge kill and KO me with my two remaining Pokemon. So, that's the end of this battle video. If you enjoyed it, hit that like button, subscribe for more content, and I'll see you guys all next time.